Hello and welcome. We are going to look at the physical properties of chlorine. Having looked at the two main ways we can prepare chlorine in the lab. Whenever we are looking at physical properties, we want to see certain characteristics that we can see with our eyes, that we can touch, maybe color, in terms of seeing, touching, in terms of maybe hardness or softness, things that we can hear, if at all there is some sound, things that we can measure, these are physical properties. This could be maybe pH, it could be the density, it could be melting points and so on. However, we are going to look at some of the major physical properties of chlorine and let's get started. The first one, color. Chlorine is a yellowish green gas. Now, whether you call it greenish yellow gas, it doesn't matter as long as it's showing that the color is between yellow and green. You know, color can be continuous. So, chlorine is a greenish yellow gas. This is how it looks like. This is how the greenish yellow gas looks like. So, is this green or yellow? That will depend on your primary school, but chlorine is greenish yellow. And that's one of the physical properties because we can see the color being intermediate between yellow and, and green. So that's the first physical property of chlorine gas. The second, it has a choking, unpleasant and irritating smell. Now it's quite hard to describe smell, but once we say choking, it means if you try to inhale chlorine, you will somehow want to, to cough. You know, you can't breathe, so you'll feel like you are choking. So it has a choking and unpleasant smell. Unpleasant, it means you wouldn't love to take it in. And somehow you'll have some involuntary reactions showing that actually the smell is irritating. So chlorine has that kind of influence. Irritating and choking. Chlorine is denser than air, about two and a half times as dense as air. That means it's heavier than air. Now, English also comes in whether to use more dense or denser, which one works for population. That one you can find out as long as I'm communication, communicating that chlorine is heavier than air, that is fine. And as such, when we have chlorine in our gas jar, it's hard to see it here, but it's greenish yellow. Probably I can see it. If you can't, probably you have some color blindness. I'm joking. But here chlorine is denser than air. That means we have our chlorine placed inside of this gas jar and it will mainly occupy this bottom part of the gas jar. Even if we don't cover it, most of it will remain within, although diffusion can somehow induce it to move out. But chlorine being heavier than air, that means it's being collected by downward deliver, downward deliver. So chlorine, just like carbon dioxide, it will tend to move to the bottom of a room because it's denser than air. Chlorine is very poisonous. Now, one reason as to why we don't prepare chlorine in most of our school settings, it's because it's poisonous. It, chlorine being acidic in nature, once you dissolve it in water, you'll form some acidic solutions. And we all know that actually our systems in the body, the cells in which they work, the cytoplasms and so on, contain water. So you'll find that chlorine being able to form an acidic solution probably is one of the key reasons as to why it is poisonous. Secondly, chlorine is highly reactive. We don't know what to react with once we inhale it and as such, Chlorine is poisonous. So, chlorine, once you see a green shallow gas, you never know it could be chlorine, so try and leave as early as possible. Higher concentrations obviously can be fatal. So, chlorine is poisonous because it is highly reactive and it's acidic when dissolved in, in water. So, being poisonous is also a physical property. Probably, but we can put a star. Can it be measured? We shall see. Maybe the pH and so on. It is fairly soluble in water. 
Now this is another physical property. We can see that once we bubble chlorine into water, it will tend to dissolve. At least we have seen that under the treatment of water by a method known as chlorination in which we intentionally dissolve our chlorine in water. So because of that chlorine is used as a disinfectant to kill small disinfectant to kill small microorganisms that could cause diseases to us. So as such we can confirm that chlorine is actually soluble in water as seen by the previous equation forming hypochlorous acid and our hydrochloric acid. So we have chlorine gas dissolving in water. So this is a gas, this is a liquid, aqueous, aqueous. So these two acids enable chlorine to dissolve in water. So chlorine will dissolve in water to form that. So those are the main properties of chlorine, but you can find out more. For example, melting points, boiling points, and others. Thanks for watching.